Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace and welcome back to A Tiny Revolution. This is our brand new publishing platform for those of you who are looking to create tiny courses, tiny products, tiny communities that make a big impact in 2022 and beyond. All right. So I want to share with those of you who have asked, uh, I've been doing a lot of private um, micro courses, mini courses in our community. And a bunch of folks have asked about the software we're using. So I'm going to show that to you and recommend that you try it too. If you're looking at creating a tiny empire of small products, small courses, and, uh, you know, tiny, just about anything you can imagine in the micro mini or nano course uh, format. So uh, here are some questions that have come in and I just kind of curate them into a Q&A style recording or video that I'm going to cover. You actually have this PDF in your members area and I'll show you an example of a course that we created as well or that I created actually just this morning on March 10th, 2022 in about 20 minutes. That's it's not a Michelangelo uh, piece of work, but you'll see how effective this sort of thing is for teaching uh, content that you can use in your own business. And uh, as you'll see in this PDF, there are many skillful ways of actually incorporating or integrating this sort of content into your uh, existing platform in a smart and strategic way that'll let you monetize these courses in a way that you won't really hear about in other places. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna cover the basic uh, tool, the tech, the software, and how we use it. All right, so essentially this is what people have been asking. The tool is called 7taps. It's 7 It's a really cool piece of software that allows you to create tiny courses for your platform, for your community. These are often referred to as micro content, micro courses, nano content, etc. I just call them tiny courses because our platform is a tiny, uh, you know, revolution. So all of our sort of verbiage is kind of revolving around the word tiny. All right. Do people need to sign up for seven tabs to view the content? This is really important because this is a distinction that's really critical. Um, and I'm glad people are asking this because if you sign up for Gumroad, for an example, you have to sign, you have to sign up. You know, if you're buying a course on Gumroad or Podia, you have to go through a sign up process. And Seven Taps or Kajabi or Teachable or Thinkific, etc. Seven Taps allows you to share your content by dint of a link or some of the other options that I'm going to share with you below. So no one needs to sign up for anything. You can share this stuff on these courses on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest. I've done all this and no one needs to do anything. They get directed right to the course, which is really, really, uh, you know, user friendly. All right. So how do you share a seven taps course? So rather than having people go through this login or sign up uh, thing, you can actually share your courses via link, via SMS, via QR code, via email. And really my favorite approach is an iframe. And the reason that I like the iframe is because you can embed these courses now within a private community like Circle or Tribe or Ghost or that sort of uh, software. So if you're running a platform that has restricted content so that it protects your content, you can actually put your mini courses behind the paywall or behind the gated or restricted area, let's say within Ghost or Circle, that folks actually have to sign up to get access to your mini course. And that gives you the ability to monetize your courses when you're ready for that. So you have both options. You can share via a simple link. And then for if you're building a platform like we are, or many of you are, I know in our community, you can actually also have those courses or let's say this the the second iteration of a free course or the upgrade, the, you know, behind a cohort or a community uh, based cohort uh, experience where folks can actually engage with or interact with each other, you, your content, your micro courses, etc., in a smart strategic way. All right, so this 
uh, leads into this question, which has come up a couple of times in the last couple of days of what I've been doing these in our private community. Can you charge for these micro courses? And the truth is they don't allow creators the ability to accept payments for courses. I don't know that that's coming or not coming down the road. Actually, when I first signed up for seven taps, I remember talking to one of their mark, their, I think their lead marketing guy uh, on the phone for a while. And he, I was asking him, can you charge for the course? Can you, you know, can we take payments for the course? And he didn't seem to even understand why I was asking that. But for those of us who are in that sort of space where you're using things like Podia or Teachable or Gumroad or Buy Me a Coffee or any of those sorts of sort of, you know, content uh, platforms where you charge for your content, it's obviously an important thing. But where, what you can do and, you know, this sort of dovetails nicely with the previous point, you can include your courses within an, an a iframe or embed them within a private community where you're already charging, right? So you can have, let's say, a circle community where you're charging $25 a month for access to all of your courses that you're using, that you're building on 7Taps or Ghost, the same thing. And you're just building course after course after course after course really, really quickly, really effectively, and just gating them all behind the monthly membership or within an individual post. If you want to do it that way, you can do anything you really want using a paywall based approach. Um, and I really recommend if you're building a cohort based community, I know many folks in my own uh, Podia, uh, you know, learning community are doing that. So if you're learning how to do that now, using the cohort for the interactivity between members, between audience, uh, you know, between your students, members, users, etc., you can actually incorporate the engagement uh, element of that within the micro course format, giving you sort of the boat, the best of both worlds. So you're giving them this micro course you know, content, and then giving them a much deeper dive experience within the cohort where they can post their own questions, their own user-generated content. They can interact with a teacher or teachers. They can interact with each other. You can do quizzes, do fun things, etc. all built around this seven taps model. All right. How do you design a micro course? A couple of people have asked about that. So the seven taps platform offers a great array of design variations and if you're on a premium plan as we are you can actually create your own themes which can be you know branded to your um, you know your color schemes and your assets etc cetera, etc cetera. you can actually you can also include your logo and any other uh, sort of branding requisites that you have or need they also have a great set of pre-existing uh, courses that you can, uh, you know, that are kind of like dummy courses, but they're not really dummy courses. They're real courses. Let's call them example courses, as I wrote here, uh, that you can clone to your workspace, which gives you a really great starting off point to launch your own courses without having to think about the theming or designing your own decks. All right. Can you add sound and video to the micro courses on 7Taps? Absolutely. I haven't really done much of this, but you can include uh, 60 seconds of audio per card, or you can uh, add AI videos through the Synthesia platform, which I've also used uh, since they launched way back, I don't know, I guess in 2021. And I've done some videos on those as well, although I'm not paying for that anymore because I just didn't find uh, I was getting the usage out of the Synthesia platform, but the videos are all AI generated, kind of like avatar generated uh, videos that are scripted based around your own uh, words. And it's really, really cool. So you can, that's actually built in to 7Taps, which is one of the reasons I decided not to stop or to stop paying for Synthesia because the usage that we were using it for is really already built in for free to this. You can also add your own short videos. So videos like the one I'm doing right now are a little bit Bit long, right? Like this video in particular, but I think like up to 60 seconds worth of video you can add to your cards, which is really a great uh, upgrade and addition to their platform. That's pretty recent, I think in the last month or so, and it's March of 2022 as I record this. All right. How about uh, GIFs and images? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You, If you're on a premium plan or at least the premium plan that we're on, which I think is the, you know, second tier up uh you can add your own images that are stored on your uh, you know your dashboard so you can reuse them repurpose them over and over again you access those by dint of the uh card 
uh, or the you know, when you edit a card, you have the image uh, icon, and when you click on that, it'll bring up that um, sort of drawer on the right hand side. You can add your own images, or you can pull GIFs from Jiffy, and all that sort of stuff. Very very cool. You don't need your own images. I found you can actually just use the free plan and get a lot of use out of the you know thousands of GIFs that are available at your fingertips. All right. This is the real important piece. How long does it take to create a course on seven taps? The truth is it takes me, you know, somewhere around 20 minutes. It depends on how detail oriented you want to get. But if you know the material, you can literally create a full course in about 30 minutes. If I'm trying to find the perfect images or the right GIF or a card, or I'm adding uh, audio or video content, or I'm experimenting with that, it can take a few hours, but it's really i mean super quick and a couple of years ago this sort of stuff would, would have taken a herculean effort that you know and that's even understanding that you have access to this sort of software which was not available when i was starting teach to teach online a few years ago so it's really fast it's fun it's super easy and it makes for a really really enjoyable experience for those of us who are used to these kajabi teachable even gumroad podia sorts of experiences all right and lastly um how many um actually how much does it cost that's not the last question the i don't really know the total the different cost tiers the one that we're on is 99 dollars a month i think there's like a 50 dollars a month tier and a free tier and there may be one that's like enterprise level which i haven't looked at but you can test it for free i think they have a free trial as well so you can check that as well out if you're interested and the most important uh, thing for me is there are so many use cases to be able to use this software in cool and creative ways you can you know, offer these sorts of services to clients potentially, or, you know, help your realtor clients or accountants or financial advisors or therapists or mental health professionals create, you know, you know, explainer sort of content or terms and definitions, or help clients, their own clients understand how to walk through, let's say, buying a house or, you know, doing your taxes or, you know, mental health heuristics are really easy to create that's what we're working on using seven taps all right think about book reviews or cliff notes q a content or even fun ways to augment and improve existing longer form content on something like teachable podia think if it kajabi and all those sorts of platforms you can actually maybe if you don't want to replace those with this you could just add you know these like little micro courses or learning um kind of you know, like um, tidbits to a longer form experience or like kind of reviewing content or testing content, et cetera, et cetera. You can add quizzes uh, to your seven tasks, which makes learning retention, uh, you know, more impressive or easier to actually implement within a module. All that stuff is very easy and it's a lot of fun to do. All right. Lastly, there are, I added to this video, a uh, example of something I did this morning. Again, like I mentioned earlier, it's about 20 minutes worth of content on neurotransmitters. It's for, it's for a, a partner in our platform that we're working on uh, for mental health, for a mindfulness platform. And it was done using her information. And I just basically cobbled together the course in about 20 minutes. All right. Very, very easy. It's a lot of fun. And you can try it here for free. I think they sell a free trial. Uh, if you sign up using our affiliate link for our Mindful Marketplace community, I'll send you something very cool that we're working on in March. Uh, you know, Just let me know. Send me an email, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com, and I'll send you access to that. But you have to sign up for a premium uh, account or for a paid account, not for the free trial, to actually access that. All right. If you have any questions about creating tiny content, tiny courses, or brand, or business in 2022, feel free to reach out to me again, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com or via Twitter at Ian Hound. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Uh, if you want to see an example, I'll actually add or append an example of the course that I created above uh, this morning so that you can see how quickly, again, it's 20 minutes. It's not completely done yet, but it, you'll get a general gist of how quickly you can create content like that. Again, 20 minutes, that took me, and it's pretty much, pretty much almost finished. Thanks so much for watching, as always, and have a wonderful day.